Crimson Days is back and it's the weekly reset and I'm going to show you guys what is new for this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So as you guys can see, the Crimson Days event has returned for the first time actually in Destiny 2. So we are actually going to go over a little bit of the Crimson Days as well as the milestones and what we can get from every other vendor that is available. So let's get started. With all this wonderful thing said, let's go start with the milestones first. So, we have the Nightfall, which you need to complete the weekly Nightfall strike. Now, a couple things have changed with the Nightfall, and this week's Nightfall is the Pyramidian. So, we're going to select that real quick. Well, before we select it, notice how we do have potential rewards, which is the rare gear, legendary gear, whatever. We see that all the time. However, we do have an emote called the Flaunting Dance that is a potential reward to actually drop from that. Modifiers this week are Torrent, which boundless power erupts from within, your ability to recharge much faster, and then we have Time Warp Zero Hour, which the mission timer cannot be extended. Choose your battles carefully. Next, we have the Flashpoint on the EDZ, which you need to complete public events on the EDZ. If you do the heroic versions of this, you can do it a lot faster. Then we have EDZ Challenges, which you need to complete three challenges while exploring the EDZ. Then we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the Raid or the Raid Lair. Call to Arms, which you win... Glory by participating in Crucible. Then we have your Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. Next is Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. And last but not least, we do have Welcome to Crimson Days, from which we need to actually go talk to Tess Everest. However, prior to talking to Tess Everest, we are going to go check out PvP real quick and look at this wonderful Crimson Days match. Now, again, notice that the potential rewards, you do get rare gear, legendary gear. You do get a Crimson Engram, which is pretty interesting, as well as the Undeterred um, Sparrow, which is an exotic sparrow for the Crimson Days. As you can see, the tower is filled with wonderful happiness, joy, and love for the season. Yeah, whatever. Let's go to Tess. So, let's see what Tess has for us this week. And we will pick up this Crimson Days Engram, or the Crimson Engram, and see what we get. So we got the Battle Heart and some Shaders. And also, we have an update to the Milestones, which we need to talk to Lord Shax. So, for the Crimson Days Bright Dust Purchases, we have the Undefeated uh, Sparrow, which is actually a different Sparrow from the one we've seen in the Nightfall. This is what it looks like. Next, we have the Battle Heart Sparrow. And then we have the Entwining Heart Shell. I'm actually broke. So I don't really have that much Bright Dust unless I uh, give it a whole bunch of shaders and ships and stuff. Next we have the uh, Propulsive Heart Shell. Looks kind of interesting, I guess. Next we have the Go About Your Business for the Sweet Business. This is an ornament. Looks pretty, uh, pretty cool, I guess. Then we have the Vengeful Dance. Pretty interesting looking dance, I guess. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah. Okay, we're good. So, next we do have the Inseparable Shaders Pack, which these are all the shaders available. We have the Crimson Passion. And this is what this one looks like. Next, we have the Crimson Valor. If my game will load. Oh, that actually looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Next shader we have is uh, Desert of Gold. And then we have uh, Metallic Sunrise. Noble Constant Red, which is a normal shader that we have. 
as well as Suros Modular Shine is also a normal one. Then we have Dawn and Dusk. And last but not least, Nebula Rose. So, from here on are shaders we had before, and then just these first two are the newer ones. So, as for the Bright Dust purchases for the week, we have Trendy Dance. And then we have Overnight Dance. I think they want us to dance uh, a lot this wonderful Crimson Days uh, event. It's your little YMCA dance. And then we have the Aldebaran uh, vehicle, or Sparrow, however you want to say it. it. Actually looks pretty cool. Next, we have the Nebula Bloom uh, ship. Wonderful, another reskin. Then we have the Book of the Dead, which is the ornament for the Vigilance Wing. Next, we have the Future is Chrome, which is the ornament for the Hard Light. And then the Armor of the Week is the Chest Armor, and this is Omega Mechanos Robes. And this is for the Warlock. I actually think it looks pretty retarded, but hey, it has the perks I want on it, I guess. For the Ghost Shell, we have the Yellow Spear Shell. Comes with random perks. And then we have your Ghost Blue Transmat Effect. Then we have Cerulean Divide for one of the shaders. As well as Bumblebee. And then we got your wonderful boons. We have your Fire Team Medallion, as well as your Gleaming Bloon of the Vanguard and of the Crucible. Next, we're going to talk to Lord Shax to find out what he has for this update on the milestones. And welcome to Crimson Days. Thank you, thank you. And he gives us an emblem. And then we need to complete Crimson Days matches to earn holiday theme rewards. Now, the Crimson Days for the Crucible is a 2v2 event. So, yeah, definitely uh, find somebody who's actually good in PvP, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give you rewards regardless. Last but not least, do not forget to go visit Cade 6 in order to get these wonderful treasure maps he has. This week's treasure maps are on the EDZ, so by all means, go ahead and pick these up. Real quick, looking at the wonderful emblem for the Crimson Days, this actually tracks the number of opponents defeated in Crimson Days matches, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, you can make a little competition with uh, you and your friends. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.